You and I aren't naive, right? We're well aware of how spending occurs under both parties. And a couple of years ago, of course, I was uh, complaining about uh, the deficits under Trump, right? This was, it was 2019. Uh, we were looking at near trillion dollar deficits then under Republican control. And it was really quite remarkable that that sort of spending was taking place during a economic boom and sort of quasi peacetime, right? Where no, at least no new wars had recently been launched. And they were still spending that kind of money. And I wondered, right, well, what's going to happen when you actually have an economic problem? And I guess we found out, right? We we're looking at three, four <laughs> trillion dollar deficits. And that's a really huge factor behind all the, uh, the monetary inflation, the money creation, because you have to create money to keep in, uh, interest rates low so that the Fed's debt service doesn't run out of control and you end up with some sort of sovereign debt crisis. As long as the dollar's perched atop these other currencies, you can just keep inflating it, keep your interest rates low, and that's not going to eat up then the rest of your federal budget. And that puts all that deficit spending puts a huge amount of pressure then on the Fed to keep uh, interest rates low. And that's a big reason, I think, that the Fed hasn't been willing to really do much of anything at all. And this is a bipartisan effort, right? This is not something that's going to be fixed because you get rid of Biden, especially on foreign policy stuff. We can expect to see just huge budgets, $900 billion budgets are coming our way for the Pentagon, uh, even in peacetime when uh, this whole Russia thing's over. We're going to be looking at trillion-dollar-a-year <laughs> budgets for the Pentagon. That doesn't even include all of the, the nuke money, the Veterans Administration. I mean, that's just going to be runaway money. And then, of course, nobody's going to do anything about Social Security or anything like that. So that spending is just going to continue uh, to spread like wildfire, and neither party is going to do anything to really rein it in. And the deficit spending is just going to be huge. And I think the only thing that will impose discipline on that is when interest rates really have to start going up because the dollar reaches its limit in terms of what you can print uh, of new dollars uh, without it outstripping global demand. But global demand continues to be strong because all the other currencies look relatively bad uh, by comparison. So it looks like there's not going to be anything to impose any real discipline on that uh, coming anytime soon, except maybe domestically, because the domestic population might be just so overwhelmed by six, seven, eight percent inflation rates for a long period of time that they're going to really demand that something happen. But how that manifests itself and whether they just stick a band aid on it to make it look like they're doing something about inflation, because that's certainly been the Fed's tack so far, is just make it look like we're doing something about inflation. And maybe we can just tank the market without actually even doing anything by simply scaring investors by talking tough. And so I just don't know what's going to happen at this point. Yeah.